my days. Here we are. I'm here again because I've split the vlog into uh, two for this day. So if you've not seen the last one, go watch it and then come back here. We are on Castaway Key Day. So exciting. I love this day so much. Castaway is incredible. Uh, I don't film a ton because, you know, we relaxed quite a bit on Castaway. We went in the sea. We chilled out. We didn't, we didn't want to film. But... We did film uh, a little bit of um, prepping for challenge number nine. Challenge nine, which is the castaway uh, key <laughs> challenge. And yeah, uh, watch this one. Um, if you've not already seen what I turned myself into, um, yeah, it's something, uh, something to behold for sure. <laughs> Enjoy. Hello, we are back in the room. Uh, we're just getting ready so that we can get out and onto Castaway Key. I'm really looking forward to this. I cannot wait. Uh, it's very, very exciting. Uh, they've just told us they've, we've got like some package uh, on the on on Castaway, which is gives us access to like a bike rental, uh, some floats. Was it scuba equipment? Uh, I think so. Plus, yeah. Oh, wait, look at that. I know it's just out there, and then and then there's yeah, it's so exciting out there. No, but I mean, look. yeah, no, there's a power, there's a thing <laughs> in there. Yeah, I can't, I don't think it'll show very well on the screen. But there's someone. Do you know when you when you when you're in like I, I'll try and show you. I don't know if it'll if it'll turn up. Um, you can just see him just out there. Look at how blue the sea is. I've never seen the sea like this. This is so exciting. Um, so yeah, uh, challenge number, t uh, technically it's number 10, we did it before uh, number 10, because it was like a um, retro, oh, I'm very, there we go, um, yeah we did it before number 10 because of logistics, so we've now got challenge 9 and then we've got a few things on challenge 7 to complete, oh my days, I think, I'm a bit, you know, I was so close. I was so close to winning that one. Um, you know, I got... I came second. I've got a lot of seconds under my belt, I think. Including um, t the two wins I got. So i still got a chance, I think. I, I don't think I'm out of the here. Uh, I think if I'd have messed this one up, it would have been it. But yeah. We've now got a postcard challenge. And this is mine. This has got to be my task. I am, I'm willing to do the most ridiculous things. Can you grab the postcards a sec? Yeah. I can put them on the side. So basically for this challenge, we've got to recreate some of these iconic scenes. Um, so we've got Pocahontas, um, we've got Luca, we've got uh, Mickey, Pluto and Donald. We've got Stitch and Lilo. We've got Crush with Nemo, uh, sorry, with Marlin and Dory. This is the one. This is the one I feel like, Zoe said it as well, I think if I could nail this, it's going to look ridiculous, but it's going to look incredible as well. Um, yeah, that's the one I, I'm, I'm hoping for. Uh, we've got uh, the Lion King scene, um, where they're holding Simba. Also got a hammock scene from uh, from Lilo and Stitch, so a different Lilo and Stitch one. <laughs> and we've got High School Musical 2. And the last one, I think this is another one that I could nail, is Olaf uh, in the sand. So that is the challenge. We've got to recreate these scenes. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're getting ready to go to Castaway now. Um, and yeah, uh, we should have a lot of fun uh, today. Got to get some sun cream on. Got to get some, I think I need to take some props. Um, and yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So we were at Enchanted Sword now, just before we head off, and we've just got a coffee with a mini on top. How nice is that? So, uh, yeah, we're going to take that on to, uh, so cool. on to Castaway. Zoe's a big fan. So cool. It's like, um, awesome. it's like printed on with like digital, I presume like digital edible link. I don't know what that really means, but I think it's pretty cool. We got Mickey the other day as well. Yeah, so we're just getting like pixie dusted. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, of course. Yeah. Hold the magical mirror for me, up to face. Maybe take your glasses, oh, glasses off because they look too fancy. I don't want. I can't you know, hold them. Be seeing sparkles. <laughs> That is exactly that is, what we're yeah. yeah. I feel like pixie dust doesn't taste too good either. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm probably not. You're probably yeah, right. Okay, close your eyes and think. Take a wish. 
Bebere, Bobbery Boo. Go with your dreams and wishes come true. Bebere, Bobbery Boo. Oh, my days. <laughs> I've just been pixie dusted. That was very sweet. Never done that before. Only really did it because of the challenge. But that was very fun. <laughs> very, very cute. Right, we're now trying to still find our way off the ship. We've got coffee in hand, pixie dust in hair. Let's go this way, Zoe. Okay. We're just stepping off the boat now. Uh, no, I think it's just... No, I don't think it's rain. Here it is, look at this, look how huge the boat is from the side. Like you know it's a huge boat, but then you don't really appreciate how big it is until you get off. Wow, this is amazing. Castaway Key, this is really and truly a, a bucket list item of mine. I've uh, been ticked off today. Very exciting. You excited? Yeah. So we're gonna head to the adult area now, I think, because Zoe wants to take part in some yoga, is it? Beach yoga. Beach yoga. So that's gonna happen. And, uh, and yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do about these postcards during that time. Oh my days. This is amazing. I haven't even seen anything yet. I haven't even got anywhere. It's just very exciting, the whole thing is. And there's the ship. With Rapunzel on the back. Oh my days, this is amazing. Looks beautiful. You take it now. Here we go. Say goodbye to the wish and head to the beach. This is very exciting. Bay. Someone doing the 5k there, fair play to them. And not for us today, we changed our mind. <laughs> Here we are, Serenity Bay, the adults on the area. This is incredible. It's a lovely temperature today as well. It's not it's not too hot. Like it is hot. Don't get me wrong. But it's not meg like it's not crazy. I think this is called how to not relax in a hammock. <laughs> I'm relaxing. Maxim relaxing all cool. <laughs> oh. That looks lovely. Can you get out? Can I take a picture of you? Yeah, I have. For this? No. <laughs> I think I'm stuck. Alright, I'm going to get out now. 
I'm sure it'll go well. <laughs> oh. Did it. Ta -da. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just sat in a little chair and I've brought it to the edge of the beach. Uh, <laughs> water's quite cold actually, but it's lovely. Like, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because of the temperature here, it's uh, it's quite cool. But it's really nice. Probably that thing was not that cold. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. So you probably didn't hear Zoe then, but she said it's probably the different. Uh, it's probably because it's. What did you say? <laughs> it's probably not that cold. What? It's the but it's the difference between the air and the water. Yeah, that's kind of what I said. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's amazing on here. I love it. <sighs> oh yeah, I want to get leave. Like, I've seen videos of people on Castaway, and it's just been so incredibly hot. Whereas today it's a bit overcast, like because like, there's lots of clouds. But actually, the reality of it is, is it's lovely. Like it's the perfect weather for me. For me, anyway, um, like it's still, you know, incredibly hot compared to England right now. But it's just nowhere near as uh, as hot as it has been in uh, in Orlando, which is uh, probably for the best. Beans as we're having a beach day, chilled out day. So I've got a drink and also a banana. Now the banana seems a bit random but it's all part of the plan. So today, for the postcard, I'm gonna go all in on two of them, I think. I'm gonna try and do an amazing Olaf one and try and do an amazing aerial one. If any of the others work throughout the day, then that's fine, but they're the two that I'm gonna work on to try and get a solid, a solid entry. So the banana is obviously Gonna try and be Olaf's nose. We'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna try and have a have a look for some things for his uh, for his coal uh, for his buttons. But we'll see. We shall see. I'm just gonna go and chill out a bit. I think and come up with a plan. I like warm hugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, right there. Three, two, one. I like warm hugs. Okay, so we have just come to. I'm not sure what it's called. It's the food location at Serenity Bay. It's like a little barbecue joint thing that's going on over there. It's kind of a help yourself situation. So I've gone for a make your own burger. I've gone for some melon, corn, coleslaw, and then some ribs. Zoe has gone, gone for, for gone for a hot dog, salmon, pasta, corn, and then a lot of fruit because it just looks really nice. Yeah, nice. And honestly, the tap, like the, the the tap water here, is the best water we've tasted in America. Well, I know we're not in America anymore, but it's the best water. Whereas the stuff in Florida tastes a bit sort of. Uh, you, we describe it as like chlorine. -y. Like I'm, I don't think it is, but like it's just got that taste to it that tastes a bit. Like a swimming pool-ish, um, but no, really good. Uh, we had a pretty chilled morning, haven't we? It's been nice. So we did some yoga earlier. Um, I recreated uh, one of the postcards for the task, so I'll put that picture in <laughs> here. Um, oh my days! This was a lot of fun. Um, hopefully, it's good enough to at least get sort of a top three finish, but uh, we'll see. I think I need I think I need another win in order to have a good chance of this. I think if I don't win, I might be out of the running. We'll see though. It depends. Not ne yeah, not necessarily because I've had a lot of seconds, a few thirds, so we'll see. But no, I had a lot of fun making mine. Um, probably not. Well, we're, we're going to go do a few things this afternoon. So we're going to go on the uh, on the bikes. We're going to have a, one, uh, a cycle round. We're also going to. What else are we doing? I've forgotten. <laughs> we're we're um I'm just filming you eating so I do apologize. I'll I'll move it to me, shall I? Yeah. What else are we doing? 
Oh, oh, I've just been in the pool, so I'm like, look very hot, not wet. Not the pool, the sea. <laughs> um, we're going on the bikes. We've got like some kind of castaway package that's been gifted to us. Um, so, so we've got snorkeling, bike ride, bike rental, and floats we can hire, which is a lot of fun. Definitely going to take advantage of that. Definitely going to cycle. Um, we're going to go to the observation deck, which is apparently amazing. We're also going to want to do some snorkeling, and we might recreate another picture. We don't know yet. We'll see. <laughs> um, but I'm really happy with that with that one that we've done. So yeah, should be fun. Uh, Fun afternoon. Oh my days. So we are cycling. It's a very weird thing that we're doing. We're just cycling. There's no gears on these bikes. It's all very odd. But it's very exciting. We're loving life. This is fun, isn't it? It's actually really pleasant. Yeah. Really nice breeze. Okay, so we've just got onto the observation deck. I've just filmed a little bit with my camera, uh, with my phone. You can see our bikes down there. I feel like I'm on pool though. It's like, it's like swaying a bit in the Yeah, Zoe, Zoe's not a fan of the observation like deck. This is really cool though. You can see a lot of the island, if not all the island, from up here. Um, I thought I was just very unfit and was about to pass out after cycling. Yeah, so, so we thought she was going, uh, you know, going mad and her head was going funny. But uh, no, it is swaying up here, the uh, the observation deck. Only a little bit, but it is enough that you can feel it. Um, you can see the ship just about in the background, which is amazing. Um, yeah, so apparently, I think it's only something like 10% of the island. They've actually, you know, put stuff in and used and developed or whatever. The rest is is just what's there I guess so whatever creatures live in the uh, on a desert island in the Bahamas that's what's out here so it's amazing though and the bikes are very interesting uh, so there's only one gear with them so it's quite a strange sensation of um, if you if you kick your um, um, pedal backwards instead of forwards. So I quite often do that to like get going. You go backwards, <laughs> so it's very strange. I've never known that on a bike before. Uh, the one gear is not too bad though. It'd be worse. Zoe was saying as this as well. It'd be much worse if we were going uphill because obviously there's only one gear. But no, it's good. And uh, Zoe had enough, so she's <laughs> she's just wandered down to down to the bottom. Oh my dear, I can properly feel this moving now. Um, right, so can you catch this for me? <laughs> um, but yeah, this is incredible. The swampland, you can, you know, just see some of the stuff going on just over that area, which is the family bits. I think Serenity Bay is this area, I think. I think that's where we've just come from. Um, and yeah, everything else is just not a lot. There's some, apparently there's some accommodation somewhere on the island because I think it's, is it 150 people live on the island? Yeah, crazy. But yeah, loving it. Right, let's go to the family um, beach and we're going to go snorkeling and we're going to have a look in the shops. Say goodbye Zoe. Bye. <laughs> oh my goodness, this place is amazing. So, just been uh, Put our bikes back, so we're at the at the at the closest dock to uh, to where we. Um, sorry, the closest area to um, to where the ship is now. So we've just given our bikes back. We just had to wander around the shop. 
and now we've only got just over an hour but we're going to try and snorkel for half an hour if we can and then make our way back to the boat um, I'm hoping we can I'm hoping there's still time to snorkel see these beaches are amazing I'm desperate to come back we haven't even left yet I love it so much right let's go and try and hire some snorkeling stuff obviously I won't be able to film any of this so you'll just hear what it's what it was like after so <laughs> I don't remember the last time. I think it was just before we went snorkeling. Um, so, which isn't that long ago, to be fair. We finished snorkeling and then got changed, and now we're heading back to the boat. Um, we only snorkeled. How long have we been snorkeling for? I don't really know. What's the time now? No idea. I think it was about half an hour. Uh, I really I enjoyed really it. I loved it. I. I think I got a bit scared because I was getting a bit tired and I was a bit worried I couldn't get back. Yeah. And I also didn't really like the fish touching me. So yeah, anything. so <laughs> if you know about the snorkeling at Castaway Key, there's like loads of like statues and stuff uh, there somewhere. What we ended up seeing was, it was like, um, like sort of abandoned submarines kind of things oh, and then... Things, yeah, some really cool things, but then I think the coolest thing for me was when a stingray uh, swam underneath me, uh, which was really cool, uh, seeing that. Obviously we saw loads of fish, but... Did um, you see? Uh, no, if we carry on a bit we might... Or well, maybe it is a good spot here, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, true. Uh, but yeah, it's been, it's been really good, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed the bikes, actually. Yeah, the bikes were amazing. You know, everyone says about Castaway Key, about like, how amazing it is, and I'm like, oh, it's just a bit of chilling at the beach and going snorkeling nice and stuff. It's like they know everyone's from the boat, so yeah. you can hire stuff and then just leave it kind of like in other places. Yeah, it's like because like you've only got two places to put the stuff. It's either back on the ship or, uh, and they're gonna know or here. Walk yeah, and if, you, if you're walking on with a bike or a snorkel <laughs> equipment or whatever, like they're going to spot you, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know, it's it's nice that you can just rent rent a bike in one place and drop it off in another and whatever. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun, hasn't it? Like, I've loved it. It's it's really yeah. I've cut the sun as well. I'll quickly show my face. Uh, yeah, I've cut the sun. I'm gonna come in. Uh, where's the? So yeah, pretty. No, it's been amazing. Uh, right, let's get back onto the ship anyway. Okay. We are about to head back onto the ship. It's so big. When you see it and you're this close to it, it's huge. No, we'll, we'll, we'll get on here. Let's, let's head on. Oh, back on the ship again. Thank you, Castaway Key. I hope we return one day. It's a shame it just won't be one day soon. <laughs> Ah, oh, what a day. I think it's been one of my favourite days so far. And I say so far, there's only two days left, so... Wow, two days left after this. That's crazy. Thank you so much for that. Right, if you're ready... Oh my days! Thank you! 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 So I've just got back from watching Aladdin. Uh, she just got back from having a nap. Yep, Zoe, Zoe had a nap. She wasn't feeling 100% earlier, so she decided to not watch Aladdin uh, and stay in the room. Uh, and after Aladdin, we went and saw um, Captain Mickey. Um, I went with Matthew and Ryan and uh, Maddie. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, 
Oh, <laughs> nearly dropped my camera there. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, Aladdin was a lot of fun. I thought it was um, pretty, uh, on par, if not better, than Little Mermaid. I think Little Mermaid was good, uh, but yeah. Um, I really enjoyed Aladdin. The genie was fantastic. I feel like you have to be a fantastic genie to make the show work. Uh, otherwise it just doesn't. Uh, and he was really good. Um, yeah, all the shows on this on this cruise have been incredible really. Uh, all sort of Broadway calibre really. Um, you know, I know I was a bit down on, on Little Mermaid yesterday, but actually thinking about it, I was like, I've seen worse shows on Broadway. Um, i definitely seen worse shows on Broadway. Uh, oh, sorry, on the West End. Um, and yeah, they're all, they're all amazing. So, we, what are we doing now? So we're just about to get ready. We're going to go to the Marvel, World of Marvel, which is exciting. Uh, we should get a glimpse of Ant-Man at some point today. Uh, tonight uh, and the wasp which is exciting uh, and yeah I don't know what the food's gonna be like I've heard this one's the the, the third best out of the three but um, let's let's judge it for ourselves the food's been up pretty good so far um, you know not sort of grand not kind of like California grill level but you know it's still pretty pretty decent as uh, been considering it's part of the package um, yeah the food the food's really good um, and yeah Captain Mickey was just ace. I love, I really wanted to meet Captain Minnie and Captain Mickey on this cruise and uh, I managed to do both. So yeah, after World of Marvel, hopefully we'll go to the shop, have a little look round because we did it on the first night, we'll do it tonight. And then after that, who knows, who knows? There's no plan, I don't think, uh, after that. So we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, let's head to uh, World of Marvel. <laughs> Incredibly close up, but uh, that did say World of Marvel. Here we go. And what does this say? This says Avengers Technology Showcase. Ooh, fancy. And it's got like Stark Industries, Pim Kitchen, Web Technologies, is it? I don't even know. Very fancy. Okay, we're heading in. 601. That's our table number. 601. Look at this. Wow, this place is a lot bigger than I thought it was from the uh, from the screens I'd seen. Uh, sorry, from the videos I'd seen. Amazing. Look at that. All the logos from all the Avengers. This is very cool. I'm a fan. Hi there. Is that one? Uh, you can do if you want. They're joining in a minute. Can do if you want. Okay, so on the Avengers table, what have we got? We've got that Avengers plate. And then we've got our table number 601. And this is like the PIM. PIM something? I'm not too sure. And then, yeah. Very themed to Marvel. Zoe's favourite is Marvel. <laughs> how many? How many Marvel? Fi you've seen the? You've seen two? Is that Marvel? Or have you seen three Spider-Man? Yeah. Yeah. So you've seen all the all the recent Spider-Man. What else have you seen? Wonder Woman, Spider-Man. No, that's DC. Um, I, oh, Guardians. You've seen Guardians of the Galaxy. So, I'm glad we prepared you by watching Ant-Man because Ant-Man is very heavily involved tonight. It's, it's Paul Rudd. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you know him from Friends. If Paul Rudd doesn't come through, then I won't, I won't know. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it might be Paul Rudd in his uh, Ant Man gear. I thought so. you said Paul Rudd in Adelaide. Like, what? Paul Rudd, I thought you said. <laughs> it is Paul Rudd, isn't it? Yes, but I think you said Paul, as in Paul. Oh, Paul Rudd. Oh, okay. I'm feeling the motion a bit tonight, so probably won't. Oh, no. I mean, it just looks like a red potato. To others, it's a red loaf. However, to me, oh, it's a marble, marble loaf. Yeah, it's, mar it's marble. Uh, it's marble. Good evening, everyone. Please welcome.
welcome Scott Lang and Hope Van Dyne. <laughs> All right, thank you. I just, you know what? I need to breathe. I need to I just need 15 minutes to. Hi, I'm Scott Lang. Um, but you might know me as Ant Man. I am. Well, Phoebe's husband. Look, before we start, let me address the elephant in the room. I heard a lot of chatter out there asking why I didn't. Shrink down, go in, and uh, kill Thanos in a really creative way. First of all, gross. <laughs> Secondly, it's much more complicated than that. Allow me to explain. If only we had the time. Anyway, tonight, through the power of quantum science, we will show you how together we can change the world. Yeah. Now, look, don't worry, kids. Quantum science sounds overwhelming, but trust me. It is. <laughs> These are quantum cores, cutting edge technology that for the first time allows us to specifically target our pin particles to shrink or grow just about anything. Please don't get any crumbs on that. When we give you the direction, you push the buttons on your cores, and they send a signal to the regulator here, which in turn remotely targets an object to shrink or grow. Easy, right? I'll show you. Let's shrink something already, huh? Do it. All right, I brought this on my cap because I couldn't get it under the bed. Oh, this. Like this? I made this. It's a swan. Anyway, I want to shrink this suitcase and the swan to make it easier to take home. Well, just making it smaller would make it better. Friday, initiate power up sequence. Target acquired. Quantum cores are online. Prepare to push your buttons. Uh -oh. Ready? In three, two, one. Pretty sweet, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, what is that? Did you Oh. Yeah, I see what you mean. That's terrible. Why did that enlarge and the suitcase shrunk? I probably should not have uh, rewired the remote targeting protocol. Okay, so this is the like we we put this in the middle to share. Means there we are. Um, so is Maddie and Roland's also got one of these. This is like a shawarma salad. So this is like inspired by the meal that they the Avengers had at the end of the first one. Uh, I can tell you about this meal over any of the other meals because I don't know what any of the others are inspired by. So he's gone for the knocky. What's ironic with this is this is classed as a light bite. That's classed as a main. Oh, amazing! And here we go. I've got my beef something tenderloin. tenderloin, which looks really good actually. This is a pork. Yeah, That's amazing. Amazing. Uh, amazing. Uh, I just wanted to surprise you. Honey, you shrunk the ship. Uh, uh, right, well, uh, uh, let me just um. Quite a course. <laughs> and we did it. But the regulators fried. Oh, well, this is making it get any worse. Listen, Scott, I'm standing here with the captain. Marvel? No. <laughs> No. Crunch? No! <laughs> Captain Minnie? What just happened? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll be right back. Hopefully. Uh, Friday, come now!
Cheers, everyone. Yeah. We, we did it, Joe. Scott, where's this badge? Joe, we that did is it. super cool. I can't wait for Ant-Man to come and thank us. Yeah. I did have help. I'm on board. I'm sorry. Well done. Thanks, guys. And we're clear on the deck, so we'll head back to base. Hey, kid. Good job. You're all clean up duty. Perfect tonight. So cool. What? Oh my days, are just like that? It's just hurt. I think we can all agree that we. <laughs> <laughs> the battle is over. What do you mean it's over? I just. I just Come out. I just missed out on my Ultimate Avengers dream team. You can always help Miss Marvel with cleanup on the top deck. I just don't, I don't know what, at what point though. Splendid idea. Shall I play the victory playlist? You want a victory playlist? Sure, hit it. I'm so hard. No pressure. Wait. Oh. One. One. amount to be honest from so we went to the shop uh, after food um, and then we then we weren't feeling as though we wasn't feeling great so oh my days so she came up to bed I came with her for a little bit and then um, then I went back downstairs we went into the hyperspace lounge uh, I might put some footage in front like it's, it's mainly it's mainly uh, portrait stuff so I'll put a bit of that in maybe um, there was a lot of drinks going around it was a lot of fun um, company was fun as always um, and the, <laughs> it is so rough tonight the seas are um, you can probably like, I'm just like swaying just stood here uh, and you can imagine in the hyperspace lounge, it really felt like we were like in hyperspace, if that makes sense. We felt like we were a ship, like a spaceship the whole night. It was very bizarre. And then we decided to go to the top to have a look around, uh, even though it was pouring down, well, it wasn't actually pouring down with rain when we went out, but you know, it was really stormy. So, oh my days, I'm ready for bed. I can't be dealing with this anymore. <laughs> But anyway, 
Thank you so much for watching this. Um, tomorrow we are back in Walt Disney World. I haven't really got a plan tomorrow. Hopefully we're meeting uh, a friend. Um, but we might... Um, we, we've got reservations at Hollywood Studios, but we might nip to Epcot at some point. We'll see. Who knows? Who knows what's happening? Uh, we also might nip to Disney Springs at some point. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to have time to do everything we've got planned, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, so... <laughs> we also find out the challenge winners from the two challenges, which are technically challenge number seven and challenge number nine, I think. So the Castaway Key one, where we did the postcard, and also challenge number seven, where we had to do all the challenges, all the different, like, oh, we'll do this, that, and the other. So yeah, we'll find out. Oh, my goodness, it's so, so sketchy at the moment. Um, but yeah, sorry for the echoey outro. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.